Hello and welcome to Zach 103 TV. Today you are watching the Cars Line Cup Series at Daytona. Yes, we are. This is race 14. Uh, we just did Daytona 13 races ago, and um, a lot of interesting points coming into this. So we know Joy Paints is the points leader right now, and we know that that points lead was dwindled down to three points last race at Watkins Glen. That race was absolutely insane. You should go watch it, but um. Nonetheless, she led two laps in that race. Unfortunately, got wrecked out. Got a little too close to quadruped, and, but and that took her out of the race. And Barn Thresher also DNF'd. I posted the, picture, the video of her, or him, uh, German Chick 81, and not a wave wrecking on my Twitter, uh, the Cars and Cup Series Twitter. And you would see German Chick there starting third, hopefully getting some points recovery. Currently uh, uh, 15th in standings, but... Uh, nonetheless, points leads really we need to focus on. It. Both those drivers starting outside the top 30. We also need to talk about Bird because he is uh, 20, I think seven, if I'm calculating correctly, 27 ish points behind these guys. He's in a spot where he could take the points lead. But Joy Paints is the defending winner of this track, won the season opener at this track. She has got a chip on her shoulder and she is starting dead last after a poor qualify effort. Um, this could be the points. This this race could decide the points lead once again. Uh, Bart again, Bart Thurston third have three wins of the season, and um, Joy Paints has two, and then Bird also has two. Behind that, we actually have a few guys that don't have uh, any wins. Uh, first of those being third in the Lakes game, who's been very consistent. Uh, he's starting up here. I think he'll continue that consistency. But nonetheless, another question: Will we see a repeat winner here, or will we see a new winner? Reggie, do you got any thoughts on that? I, I'm just gonna say, if paint come back, bring it back to your front. Yeah, that's a possibility. Certain did last. We, I know we haven't talked a lot about Jonah Burridge either in that 121. Uh, Alex Altaford, he is in, consistent enough to stay tenth in standings through throughout all of his calamities he's had and then also other people had issues and it's just been so much things contending to these point standings and everyone's still holding on to a certain point and then we've seen Chef Squid get his first career win last race. He's currently inside the playoff bubble 14th. He still have to keep consist some consistency going considering uh, he didn't lead a whole lot of laps that race and he the, and then again Zach went through to be 400 crown jewel. It was a longer race. Pretty crazy race. Roach uh, had a flip. He's back today. Not starting too impressive, but uh, starting mid-pack. Uh, just uh, fresh off Watkins Glen. Took a week break. We're back. Daytona. And we have another super speedway race next race, which is Coca-Cola Super Speedway. Uh, really, this is going to be where the algorithm is touched or affected. We could see different drivers change some things up. Starting to get uh, that first quarter of the season is pretty much there. Uh, playoffs is really starting to become more of a focus. We're starting to think, hey, where are we going to get these points? When do we need them? How much are we willing to sacrifice? And uh, there's just a lot of factors here that need to be played in. And these guys are ready to do it. Um, we see in the Jazz 500, not a single uh, crash, I guess you would say, except for an incident that happened off pit road between the 82 and the 91. But uh, other than that, not a single incident on track that put out a yellow. We did have um, Dana Paulus Jr. Uh, have an issue in that race. Finished a couple I laps don't. down, but did okay. Did you that, say something, don't, Reggie? Don't forget about the 42 hit the pit wall. Oh, yeah, the 42 hit the pit wall last week as well. He, he's back today. Uh, actually, starting right in front of Roach, who had also a pretty bad wreck last race as well. Had a couple cars doing the NCCRS race as well. Uh, but they're back today. Again, I don't expect a whole lot of chaos, but we've seen a lot. I, I think they're going to play calm collected, but only time will tell as they did in the Jazz 500. About five seconds to the command. We'll let the game do that. Drivers, start your engines! Well, Reggie, we know that uh, the 03 is an associate of track house racing, Wild Wolf Motorsports. Uh, you, you know, you raced for him as a te as a as a driver team owner relationship, and the roles have switched. Uh, seeing him start pole, 
Uh, he's already got a win in his pocket from 2021 at Eld Spice. He's got a lot uh, starting pull here. You think he'll, he's going to lead most of these uh, beginning laps? You think he's going to get swallowed up? Hey, Daytona, Daytona, Daytona. Uh, you know how it is, right? Yep. Well, I'm going to let you call the green here. We got a lot. I got a diverse, well, I guess three Chevys, a Ford, two Dodges, Pontiac Chevy. Quite a bit of diversity here. We'll let you call the green when you're, when the, whenever, yeah, I'll let you call it whenever you feel you're ready. Green, green, green. All right. And that was initial start. And the leader was able to get ahead there. So no penalties if it's the leader. Uh, again, it's it. initial start. I will watch that 23. It's an 8. Yeah, 23. We haven't talked a lot about him. He. This is definitely a slump season. Um, won the Jazz 500 last year. Was a season points champion last year back when we were using the 2019 Cup mod. As we see, Brad Stover trying to pass the 0 three for the lead there. Oh, and the 81 and drummer chick. Um, also trying to lead lap one here. Um, she could definitely use that as trying to get some consistency going. But yeah, nonetheless, that 23 car could definitely use a break right now. They are very far back in standings. It just hasn't shown the speed they had last year yet. And we're already 14 races. Here we go. On the bottom. 76. Gunther. Uh, I think he ran, ran very well in the Jazz 500. Daytona is definitely shown to be a strong track for him. And then no, he may... There he comes. Oh, yeah, Bird. Bird in 18. Three points still. Kazo trying to lead the lap. He could use it as well. He's right there at the cut line. He's actually just about nine Bird points wants... below. Bird wants them points. Yeah, Bird wants that points lead too. Leading laps, yeah, I don't think he was really coming in with that main goal in mind, but you know what? That would help um, the situation right now. Leading points, leading laps, staying consistent. He's been doing that. And uh, only two DNFs in the season. He's still got really good stuff going. Third Alexa Gaming, you know, we talked about him. He's only got one DNF, but he's been very consistent as well. His Kaza looks to be able to, he looks like he's trying to get the draft controlled. As these are somewhat manufactured teammates, Pontiac Chevrolet being General Motors, and then Ricky Freeman Jr. behind that. Uh, none of these guys are teammates, but manufacturer alliances. And then don't be fly back there. Yeah, looks like Bradley Green making some moves as Bird does dive below the 40. Go and turn our standings as we are on lap four Ooh. now. They were full wide. Must not have seen it. Come on, one. They were full wide, everyone. Just back the pack. Looks like we already see some drivers trying to climb their way up from the back. Now, 23 of Sammy in a box. Maybe yeah, he's falling back some. Keep an eye on him. Yeah, Rick Freeman Jr. leads the lap as Bird is unable to, but. I think if I'm him, I could stay up front. He would come out pretty good out of this. Again, Bernie Thresher, he's looking pretty good right now. Take the points lead at the moment. Keep an eye on him well, as well. That where the point is, where is Paints? Yeah, Joy Paints is still far back. I don't believe they have gotten inside the top 40 yet. Not yet, no. They're actually falling back a couple spots from what they've gained right next to their teammate, uh, Gar Salamander. Their other teammate, Kazo, up front, who finished second in the Jazz 500. Right, he's running okay. As uh, Exo led that lap, he could use it. Rick Freeman Jr. also led a lap in the uh, Jazz 500. So again, we're seeing some guys from the Jazz 500 doing well here and some not, like Dark Pants, who didn't qualify well. Dissect uh, did pretty well last week. Almost had a fairly good Watkins Glen fuel strategy. Didn't quite come together. He's trying to get his first win of the season as I believe he's won in every season he's ran. So he's trying to keep that alive. And still early in the season, definitely time to make that happen. His last year, he didn't get his first one of the season until like right before the uh, playoffs started. And he still made the playoffs, too. 45 of Zevil stole the lap, though. 
He definitely could use it too for his rookie of the year status. Right now, that is held by Sean Ard because he has a win, but points matter. Right there. What do you got front man two? Say the twenty. No, Benny, forty to rush to the third. Man, to rush to the third. He is third on the bottom. Looks like Cody Forge. Um, trying to lead a lap here. Cody Forge again, not having. A Stellar season. I haven't really had a stellar career. Got a win in 2021. Hasn't really shown a lot of speed since that. Uh, he's just trying to get his stuff going. And hopefully, it goes for his party thrust the third again. He's looking for that points lead. Five points is all he needs. Right now, we've watched Bird, Barney, and Joy Paints. All of them kind of right now, the big three, you would say. Oh, and it looks like BD trying to block as well. Oh, and Barney Thresher going three wide. He wants that lead. He's going to try to lead a lap here, and that would take that points lead down to four prior to prior to the race finish. All three different teams are Brown Motorsports, Shake and Bake Racing, and actually a associate team of Shake and Bake Wood Brothers, as Barney Thresher third does, does lead that lap. So the points lead is now down to four points from Joy Paint's perspective. Look at track house on the bottom. We got track house line. We've seen the 99, 1, and 5 start right next to each other. One, uh, I guess, didn't quite get the memo as the 99 uh, trying to move that 5 car into a better draft. Their teammates trying to draft up here to the front. Reggie Fogelman and Eli the Wolf. The one car not quite, uh, didn't quite get the memo there as they're still a little bit further back in the pack. Oh, Zevil, very aggressive block there to get a lap led. Another one, rather. He's already led, led one, as I think. We're starting to see line. The lines on the racetrack have different drafts. Some guys are starting to try to control the draft. We've seen Kazo try on the initial start and quite work. Zevil's trying it now, but he doesn't have a lot of help as his team owner, Pure, uh, Pure Evan, who is defending uh, season champion, uh, is dead last in standing. So. He definitely needs, he, uh, I guess, a championship hangover, but not helping Zevil out much as he's a few lines behind. Is Reggie Fogelman trying to lead a lap here? With his team eight right behind him. Let's see what they do here. You got a four Chevys up here. Well, let's see how it works. Now, Eli's going to make a choice. Is he going to work with his teammate, or is he going to make sure that Chevys have the draft and try to aero block? It's not an easy game. I would. I don't know what he's gonna do? But it's like he sticks to the five here. And we'll get Zach, another lap led to the five. Zach, where is Paint? So uh, Joy Paints, I uh, haven't seen. Still don't see her in the top twenty. Um, I don't know if she's recovered much. She needs to get up here. She's gonna contend for that points lead and has only gained four spots from when we last checked in on them. So. Not halfway yet, but if they don't start moving, it's not going to look good. As some of the cars that don't need to be back here, like Daniel Paul. Oh, Daniel Paul is actually looking pretty hot in points, but it would be better if he was up front more, as well as third and likes of gaming. Yeah, Joy Paints point lead may fall now. It looks like the 9 trick shotted the 99 into going low, but that will give the 99 a lap lead as he comes to see if he can help his teammate up top of the 45. It looks very strong and fast. And a 91 with a huge head of steam. Chef Squid, he could go two in a row today. Could see repeat one. Two in a row, actually. But the nine of NASCAR Fireball 48, he's been in the lead a couple times this season, but just cannot get good run. Uh, not doing too well in standings. You got the truck house teammates right behind them. I think they're about to get swallowed, but they got a little bit of help from the 11 or 42 rather, manufacturer teammate. I think the nine may lead the lap. 54 of Dripsy, about seven points below the cut line right now by one spot. 121 of Jonah Burridge up here as well. Didn't see it. He kind of snuck his way up here. Riley Reams kind of been up here all race. Just sticking where he's at. I would not, that's not a bad strategy. I think really finishing position is going to matter a ton here because I just don't think leading laps is going to be a thing because so many guys are wanting to lead a lap or two. 
some of them want to believe more than that, but can't because there's enough items to be lops. And I just think it's really going to come down to, you know, Pulsar um, points, 10 point bonus, which went to Brandon Nelson. And then no slaps lead point bonus, which could end up in a tie. And that would be 10 point bonus for both drivers who did get the most slaps lead or the multiple drivers that did. That's something to watch as well. Dripsy Scheib, her now leading that bottom line. Bradley Ream looking for his second win of the season again, and we're halfway actually at the line. When that 121 car, given that 9 car, huge draft, he will come back and take the lead from the top as the 121 gets left out to dry. He's probably going to fall in front of the 5. As the 9 NASCAR Fireball 48 leads another lap, he will be in contention for most laps led. It looks like, or at least he's going to try, because we are now halfway. Hey, Reams up there. Yeah, Bradley Reams, he, he's just been staying up here. Um, I don't know if that's bad strategy. Uh, he would need to stay up here all the time. Maybe I would, I would go for a lap lead here. He's going to shoot for it. Maybe a little too early, because I think he messed up his run. But it looks like uh, the 21 wouldn't be able to get to the draft of the 9 quick enough to make a difference. It's actually his teammate, so he kind of left his teammate out to dry to get a lap lead here. As the 9 is doing worse in points than the 28 is. The 28 is 12th in standings inside the cut line, whereas the 9 is not even close. 28 is still trying to do well nonetheless. They tie for the line. So teammates not really helping each other right now. Uh, never, never a recipe for any success, so that's just going to be how that is. They still stay side by side. I think that nine may try to get a run from the one from the twenty-one, but that twenty-one just not really working too much. But he's gonna still get that draft ahead, and that nine's gonna take that lead right back. When he tries to cross over forties underneath, it looks like that nine car may be playing his cars to try to keep this lead, get the most laps lead, potentially get the win. And it looks like he's a little too far ahead now as they're three wide behind him. They're gonna suck him in very quickly. And uh, he might get dissolved here as he plays blocks perfectly. But again, they're three wide side drafting quite heavily. Corey Carr's going to have a pretty big run on this nine car. Played it very smart. Got right behind him. Oh, yeah, he's got a huge head of steam. Uses it. He's going to get right underneath that nine car. Kazo has been quiet, but has been consistent-ish. Again, Salamander Inc. Uh, finished second in the Jazz 500, so he's trying to get his cards back together. Reed and not Reed. Joy Paints, I believe, is inside the top 20 now, so they have, I mean, well, at least inside the top, uh, they've passed a few cars. Not much. They've not gotten around. They've gotten around Bird. Martin Thresher the third still in front of them. And that's where their eye is on the 59 right now. If we're coming to 10 to go in a couple laps. I would keep an eye on that 59. Try to get around him because that points lead is not very big right now, and it could stay very small after this race. And we would have to drag that that very close points battle on the next race. I believe the one a quadruped stole that lap there. Kind of snuck up here to the front. Yeah, and be a lap led towards, towards his season. He could use it. He's been slowly climbing the standings past few races after less than spectacular first seven races. Started getting some speed after Portland. And the 82 has been very consistent as well. Uh, he's about 13th in the standings. 13 of... 13 of Crazy BGD in second. He's been consistent as well. If it weren't for Sean Ard winning a race, he would be the uh, rookie of the year leader. As three wide into one for first to 82, trying to take the lead. 82, uh, real gaming freak. He won at uh, Auto Club, got his first career win after uh, he's been in this series since 2021. Yeah, it looks like that one card trying to get a draft to 13. Not really teammates. That one card, not. It's, it's proven early, very early in this race. They're not a really strong pusher. But it looked like they, I don't think they're good up front either. I don't think they got a really good setup for that one car in this race, but at least they let a lap, got something out of it. 
So the 82 going to lead that lap. 26 are Gar Salamander trying to get a lap lead here as well. As we're winding down, caution free, we may see this run green to the end like we did the Jazz 500. Well, other than a couple incidents that did happen, but let's just stay clean. Is that one car, uh, I was proved wrong. He was able to draft that 13 right back to the front. Crazy BG, <laughs> he's back to the lead. I don't think he led a lap yet. Could be wrong. We'll have to see in the HTML after the race, but a little lag spike there. Okay. But he has gotten too far ahead now. He made, you know, he's going to get swallowed. Yeah, they're going to eat him up like, a, like an apple pie on a Sunday evening here in just a little bit. Yeah. 26 is going to get a real nice run off the corner. I would be surprised if he didn't pass him. And it does. That may, oh, it looks like it's going to backfire as a 7. Let's see, was was this, was a 81 does allow that does, does get behind the 26 makes it work Eighty one drum chick started up front trying to finish up front what'd you say Reggie I'm not sure what he said but anyways 26 car salamander Led the lap. I think both, uh, all the Salamander cars except for Joy Paints is a little lap, and Joy Paints is slowly coming up to the front with the help of some drivers who were also in the back with her O's. German Chicken, you want to go slow up to 20 a little bit. 13 was able to retake the lead once again with the help from the top lane. Oh, the 7, the very aggressive trying to get around that 26. I think that 7 car knows that that 13. And then we got good chemistry and draft, and he wants to take advantage of that. And he is not wasting any time to see if that chemistry can go further. He may try to get around that 13 here. Make that chemistry work for this back stretch. And it looks like it no, he's gonna break that break that and try to get get around him for the lead. He wants a lap. Coming to five to go this time by. Seven of dice that oh gets a that eighty one had a huge push or a huge draft from that twenty car really leaped him ahead before that seven car even had a chance to block even though having a really great exit off that corner seeing if the if the thirteen and seven can work on opposite ends of each other but the eighty one blocks up top doesn't have a chance they may try something still but I don't know. 81 and German Chick trying to lead another lap here. Help their season stand and get some consistency back in their flow as they have just not been consistent the past few races. And Third Likes of Gaming looking for his first win of the season. He's been very consistent as well. Trying to, you know, he could go for third in standings. Third Likes of Gaming could from Bird. As Bird isn't doing two stars. Joy Payne's getting around Sean Ard for fourth. Joy Paints is coming. I think Bird may lose his his standing in points right now to third and likes of gaming. He's going to go low, but this race ain't over yet. We still got three to go at the line. Two dodges, teammates, 20 and the seven. They may have played a good strategy here. Still, time left in this race is there. The 23 is Simon Vox, who has not a single top five looking for their first of the season. So we were three laps to go. The 81 trying to keep it alive on top. Lead the lap, but the 20 gets around. The 20 will get past the 7 to the lead. And it's 77. I'm thinking points lead here. Do you pass that 7 to go low? You don't got a lot of help. Right, is that cool. Is that great for race pick? Yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to say that uh, 23 car. What are you thinking? Mm. Two to go. I mean, Joy makes the move.
Joy Paints will take the lead. Can she hold it? No. The 23 on the bottom going to take it. 77 still looking for a good finish. If, he can, if she can hold it up top, Barney Thresher within just a few spots. This is going to be very close for the points lead. The 77 did not lead a lap, was unsuccessful. One lap to go. The 23 is Sammy Box. Here comes the 9. Stays, stays clean. The 71 going to try to take third here on the bottom. The 77 trying to hold up on top. Could he get a draft? Could she get a draft from the 7? Let's go helicopter here. See what happens. 77 has got a huge run. Could she make it work? She does. The 77 will take the lead on the bottom. Looking for win number three to close out for the points lead. Coming off a of turn four, the nine, the 23, and 17 have nothing as a 77 will get win number three and keep the points lead. Wow. Sweeps the Daytona races. Wow. What a move. The seven of Dysek made that happen. I want to go back and go to the roof cam of that seven car loss lap. He had, he gave that huge draft. Let's go. So this, this, was, this was on the final lap. Just look at the push for the draft they get on the top lane after the turn two. Look at this. That's seven car. Huge gust of steam. 23 had nothing. Nine car went well. I know you can see it, but and that's just to tell that 77 car to the lead. To lead their one and only lap of the race. And the sweep the two Daytona races at this particular format. And battle for a second, I think, went to the 23, but they could finish with both those guys. They both needed it. And H has to finish it along with that. Uh, the uh, 71 of Bobby Isaac. Well, Reggie, did you see that coming? Hey, I said watch paints. Watch paints, and sure enough, Joy Paints went from last to first to not only keep the points lead, but win the race. So the first two, we did have a repeat winner. Wow. That is... What are the chances of that? What do you know? That is something. That is something. Went from being in danger of losing the points lead, played it cool, made it work, stayed clean, worked with the guys in the back. The guys in the back worked with her at the end. Dissect specifically had a huge run, didn't have much for themselves, but still finished well. And Sammy Box, Bridesmaid. But I think it's the first top five, so not nothing to complain about. But man, what a man! Zach, you know what it said? No, I didn't. I said we're going to start calling paint misadvantage. Misadvantage, yes, yep, misadvantage. The uh, <clears throat> eliminator is like she likes to call herself. But keep in mind, the 50, 59 of Barney Thresher III finished seventh. So this points lead is still fairly tight. I think maybe 20 points, uh, considering all, uh, considering maybe all, maybe 20 points. And look at the 20 and the 18. They're only, they only had, I think, 16 points in between them. Where did the 18 finish? 18 did not finish well at all. Yeah, so the 18 is going to lose his spot in standings. Points lead is, is less tight, but man, what a way to close out the race and keep the points lead. Any last thoughts, Reggie? Reggie? No, I don't have no pictures on. Man, that was... What are you... The odds of that happening were... Nothing. That's that's um, that was crazy. But from uh, Zach 103 TV, the Cars and Cup Series, Reggie Fogelman. Next race is Coca Cola Super Speedway. We're not done with the Super Speedway parodies, and then we'll chill it down at 
Kansas. Uh, I know the one we used a couple years ago with cars were hitting the wall. I'm going to see if I can get a better version, but uh, yeah, we'll see you next week. Coca Cola Super Speedway. I think the NCCRS is going to. Heck, I don't know where they're going to. That, that's going to hold another series, but um, nonetheless, uh, we'll see you next race.